Okay, guys, we're back. The new battery. My only real friend, Holly. We went through it all. You really have what to me. Of course, I do. You have no idea. You said it was construction work. It was an industrial accident. Oh, this guy. Oh, this guy's just the, the shrink, isn't going it? On? Lord, for God's sake, he was my best friend. The only man who ever loved me without putting his hands on me. Hi, Elsa. Here's someone I'd like you to meet. Cole Phelps, war hero and crime fighter extraordinaire. Why would I want to meet another fascist? Oh. Sorry about this, Cole. What an evening I'm having. First a Negro puts his hands on me, and then this. Ah. Who do you think you're talking to, you German junkie whore? Don't you ever forget your place with me again. Do you hear me? I hope we get to kill this guy. Evening, Doc. How's business? Sanguine. Louis, help me here. I'm gonna have to give her something before her performance. Blow it off, Cole. These artsy fartsy types always get a little flighty. Meet Dr. Harlan Fontaine, doctor to the stars. Mr. Fix it to the mental wreckage of Hollywood. So, what about that drink, boys? What an asshole. She's in the apartment earlier. Okay, I only have three stars this time. See damage, injuries. Homicide desk one. Sweet. Got homicide desk one. Six months later, huh? Six months later. The red lipstick murder. What the fuck? Alright man, look at this guy man. What a dick. Alright gentlemen, take your seats. Let's get this over before lunch. Oh not this guy. Oh. The homicide spot has decided to take care of retirement. You will all miss Lloyd and the steely head she brought to his police work. The department has arranged a wee drink at the Galway Arms to quench the mighty thirst. The man gets from 25 degrees from Israel. Floyd's departure leaves a place at the top table, and the chief has seen fit to promote Cole Phelps from burglary to the homicide desk. Nice. Up, Phelps. Take a cheer. You're in the major leagues now, Sonny. Rusty Galloway, the fine lawman of the old school, will be taking you. Your first case is the murder of a woman found last night and burning all the signs of the werewolf. Get out to the scene, lads. The werewolf? What the fuck? Is it some sort of... A desk unlocks the streets of L.A. allowing you to patrol the city and attend street crimes. Each desk office offers a new set of street crimes. Okay. You have... Okay, so each... A new set of street crimes. I see. Interesting. The address. Been all over KGPL. Golf Temple Street, between Belmont and Glendale. This guy must have escaped from the Louis family. I'd rather you took the lead. Damn, I have to drive. Are you driving? Nah, no car unlocked. Nice. Whoa! Get out of my way. What happened? Thank you. 
Parker wants the Chief's job. Word is it's either going to be him or Thad Green. So they're both clearing the decks. Where does that leave you, Galloway? It leaves me saddled with a chump like you, Phelps. I didn't ask for you, and I don't want you, so keep it to yourself. See if you can learn something about seeing how a real cop operates. What, what do you asshole. mean by the werewolf? The Dally. The Daily News came out calling him the werewolf. The examiner came up with the Black Dally. Are we any closer to catching him? Not a chance. Six months and hundreds of guys running down leads, and we got nothing. You don't think this has a No, I don't. Ninety percent of murders are domestic. Some guy gets into a beef with his wife and takes it too far. It should be the same. But cutting someone in half and leaving them off the sidewalk, that's a one-off. Why so many women this year? Because of the war. You should know that. Guy gets to kill people every day in combat. Comes home, he's expected to take lip from his wife. What do you think's gonna happen? It's that's interesting. I didn't really know that. Like I said. Most of the time, it is. I'll do it! So help me God, I'll jump! You need to get up there. Let me do the talking, detective. I know a ton of this psychology stuff. Take the back alley and find a way up there. Come on, Phelps, let's get moving. Are you jumping? Make sure you warn me before you do. I will! Wait! What? <laughs> you think you're thinking, hold you rusty? I'll bring you down with me, Phelps. This guy's a dick. Maybe he'll turn out to be better, but right now he's a dick. Come on. But I don't want you splashed on my shoes. <laughs> Are you crazy? What are you trying to do? I remember my first jumper. I. This what you wanted? I can't do it. I just. I'll come quietly. Just. I need some help. Please. You gotta get me some help. You're a danger to yourself and to others. Got him. Was that? that wasn't even a crime. I mean, a real crime. So this is my destination now, oh, okay. Can you drive to this one? <clears throat> nice we'd love to get him to drive now. We can get we can get him to drive now. Sweet. <laughs> Okay. Twirling arrows loading. Ah, so this is where, this is where we saw that guy kill that woman, huh? How about a scoop for the examiner, Galloway? You could use some good press. Another tramp, another message. Is the werewolf back in business, boys? Do you have a mother, asshole? A sister? How about showing some respect for this poor woman? Let us do our job, and Detective Galloway will give you a statement later. He's good, Rusty. He even sounds genuine. That's Phelps, guys. The war hero. Defending the honor of murdered hunks. They're used to it, Phelps. Move along, guys. You got your pictures, you got your headlines. Now scram. What an asshole. Fucking reporters. Uh, got some nudity here. Well, uh, Trollman, this your oh well. Yes, sir. Well, part of it. Kids park here and they use it like a lover's lane. It's a 
working neighborhood. Some trouble, but nothing like this. It's uh, known locally as the Morgues. You were first on the scene? Yes, Detective. No one's disturbed the body? No, sir. We cleared out them vulture reporters so Pinker and the coroner could work. They're waiting to talk to you. Go house to house and see what you come up with. Nice. Okay. Talk. Talk. Carruthers. Phelps. You make homicide? Looks like it. Galloway has been making me feel welcome. I bet he has. Has the scene been secured? <laughs> Hell, bet he has. Roman Houlihan saw to it. The victim's personal effects are still where they fell. Oh, big deal. I think I, I... Cause of death? Holy shit. Be the head okay. She has been badly stalked. The cuts look superficial. I'll, I'll know for sure in an hour. What caused the blunt force injury to the face? Could be anything from a baseball bat to a lug wrench. I'll have more details after the autopsy. Okay. Can we examine our titties? Okay. Nothing. Oh, I can tell. Can't examine her chest, right? No, of course not. No, her other arm, maybe? Let's put this over here. Nothing. Oh! How about this wound on the finger? Something removed. A ring, most likely. I assume it was taken post mortem. Post mortem, huh? Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, fu fuck something. Fuck you, BD. What's the writing on the victim? BD. Like Dahlia? X? Your guess is as good as mine. Could be something to it, or it could be the chemist trying to throw you off the scent. Either way, I'll run tests from the next day. Any idea of the time of death? From the temperature, I'd say after midnight. I'll confirm with you later. Okay, sorry. This case, I think, is going to be a lot harder than the one previously. What can you tell me about the shoe prints? Men's size eggs. Pinker lifted impressions for me to compare back to the lab. Okay. What else do we have? This is C. What's this over here? It's in her pocketbook. This looks bad. Can't be the one used on the body. Hairbrush. Nothing. 